fucking hillbilly DVD reviews about a week left till Halloween. Fucking Silver Shamrock. Today we got a real cool action horror movie for you. We're going to be reviewing the Blu-ray of Dog Soldiers. <laughs> Dog Soldiers is a Scottish movie. It's actually Neil Marshall's first movie. You may know him. He went on to direct The Descent and fucking Doomsday and a bunch of other shit that's coming out. This is his first movie. Going low budget, just making a movie with his friends, people we could scrape together. And it's actually really fucking good. Plot of Dog Soldiers revolves around a training exercise with a fucking Scottish army troop or a platoon or whatever the fuck you want to call them. They get dropped into the woods. They're supposed to be playing a fucking, you know, like a training game against some special forces. This is like their big test. They're all pumped up. Hey, let's go out in the woods, shoot these fucking blanks. They got regular guns and shit, not paintball guns. They got regular guns, but they only shoot blanks, so they're basically defenseless. The only problem is, is there's a fucking family of werewolves fucking living in this woods. So the movie starts out, we're getting to know the guys in the fucking troop and shit. You know, everybody's like, basically, I don't know, everybody kind of looks the same. They all got Scottish accents, short hair and shit. But, we you know, there's one guy who likes fucking football or soccer or whatever you want to call it. There's Kevin McKidd, who's like the main guy. And then, like, the fucking the boss lieutenant guys play like Sean Pertway. They're the two main ones, you know. They're, we've seen these guys in other movies before. You know, Kevin McKidd was in Train Spotting, Sean Pertway was in Equilibrium. So we know that they're the main guys. You know, so like all these other little motherfuckers, they're not really that important. They all start getting killed off. They find out shit is going crazy when they find a camp of the special forces they're supposed to be playing the war games with. And then basically everybody slaughtered. The only left is this asshole commander who Kevin McKidd had a previous bad encounter with when he was trying out for special forces. So we know this guy's a dick. He's all scratched up and shit. About to fucking die when they find him to save his life, give him some medicine and shit. The good thing is, though, the Special Forces guys, they had actually real weapons and with real ammo and shit. So everybody dishes their blank guns and gets some fucking awesome machine guns, rifles and shit. So whatever's in these woods killing these motherfuckers, we're going to take head on and shit. So basically, night's starting to fall and shit. They're looking for cover. They're looking for a place to hide out. Next thing you know, it's just like aliens. It Actually, it really is just like aliens. You could tell Neil Marshall really, you know, mimicked that big first fucking fight scene with the aliens in the movie. Werewolves come out of nowhere, everybody's getting pulled into bushes, ripped apart, fucking everybody's shooting everywhere. You know, this is actually a really cool scene how they do it. They fall back in waves. Like basically half the platoon will run, fucking shoot, the other half will run behind them. Then they stop that run. Like it, it really actually it does have like a real military feel. Most movies consist of a bunch of people going out in the woods to fuck and get eaten by a fucking zombie, vampire, werewolf, whatever. But this one, like I said, it's real fucking guys armed to the teeth, ready to take on these werewolves. Unfortunately, fucking bullets don't do shit to werewolves unless they're silver, and of course these motherfuckers don't have any silver. So they get their ass kicked pretty fucking bad. The platoon gets cut down about half, they find a fucking farmhouse, they fucking get in, there's a woman living there, fucking hey, she, she actually knows about the werewolves, she says nobody will believe her and shit, the werewolves live out in these woods and stuff. There's some twists and turns later on with her character, I won't spoil that. But just to cut to the chase, basically it becomes night living dead with werewolves jumping in the windows and they're boarding them up. There's no way you can stop these werewolves. There's about four or five of them. They're all about seven feet tall. They resemble a little bit the werewolves from uh, Underworld, but just cool looking, more man in a suit, furry looking. They got big, long fucking bodies, big claws. They're always reaching. I mean, these motherfuckers' arms look like about eight feet long. They just <laughs> reach in and start grabbing people and shit. So as everybody's getting picked off one by one, they realize, hey man, we need a plan. The girl says there's an old fucking Land Rover out in the shed. They try to go out and get that thing started. You know, surprise, surprise, bad shit just keeps happening. Not going to go too much farther, but, you know, this is a horror movie. Just about everybody's going to die. There's going to be only one or two survivors. Lots of twists and turns with people getting scratched up, turning into werewolves and shit. For a low-budget movie, for a first movie by director Neil Marshall, man, he just, i tell you what, he did an awesome job. He really fucking kicks ass. I'm going to have to give Dog Soldiers on a scale of 1 to 10, 7.5 out of 10. All right, now the picture and sound. I'm going to cut to the chase. This fucking blurry looks like dog shit. Dog soldiers? No, dog shit. This movie was filmed on 16mm, which don't have the resolution 35mm and all that. But I have seen 16mm films on DVD, even on Blu-ray and shit. Look at the rest of That's shot on 16mm. That don't look like ass. But somehow this does. I think something to do with... Being a you know a European production, if you ever see European movies on TVs that always look fucking washed out and shitty, well that's no difference here. You know, it's been said that the movie was shot intentionally, like kind of dark, kind of washed out, kind of whatever, and I get that. But even the black levels are fucking bad, which points to this not being that great of a transfer in terms of like clarity and fucking like color vibrancy it really does look a lot like a DVD like you know how DVDs when even when you upconvert them shit they just look fucking washed out and shitty well this has that look 
Fortunately, the one good thing is, you know, you don't have the compression artifacts that you see on DVD. You don't see all the little shit, all crunchies. So I will give it that. It wasn't hard to watch from a video standpoint, but there was no part of it that really looked like impressive. As far as sound goes though, it is an upgrade. We got the English 5.1 Dolby True HD audio. Sounds pretty good in the beginning, but you know, beginning there's just a lot of dialogue in the movie, so it's all in the front speaker, so you think, ah, oh, there ain't gonna be no surround sound. Later on, when the werewolves attack the house, you start hearing shit like popping off all around you. It was a pretty good fucking mix. I mean, not the best, but considering the age of this movie being over 10 years old and it being like fucking low budget shit, the sound was good. So picture and sound, picture being really fucking mediocre, but the audio popping up a little bit. Unfortunately, it's just really middle of the road blurry. I gotta give Dog Soldier's picture and sound 5 out of 10. Okay, so they shit the bed on the transfer, they didn't do a remaster or whatever, they just took some shitty old tape from fucking Europe and put on a Blu-ray, whatever. It's going to get better with the special features, right? <laughs> fucking nope. No special features. Nothing, nada. We get fucking about four previews for some other fucking movies that are supposedly to come out on Blu-ray, but even the previews for these look like shit. Fucking, I don't know what the studio was thinking, man, they really fucked up. There's no special features regarding the making of this movie. Just four previews for some random movies. Hey, they put a little something on it, but nothing fucking regarding this actual movie. Special features, I gotta go low on this motherfucker. I'm going 0 0.5 out of 10. Half fucking point for a half-ass effort. Stay pumped up for Halloween, man. Fucking watch some good movies. Fucking drink some beer. Go out, steal some little kids candy. Whatever you gotta do, man. Don't lose the spirit. Just because we're all getting old and the younger generation don't give a fuck about Halloween and they just put half-ass fucking makeup on their fucking thing and, and face and come to your door and beg for candy. You know, whatever. Don't let them little lazy motherfuckers ruin it. Get dressed up as much as you want to. I don't care if you're fucking 50 years old. Enjoy it. Halloween is a dying fucking holiday. Just look at the stores. The week before Halloween, don't have all this Christmas shit in the fucking stores. Fuck that. Keep Halloween going till October 31st. And celebrate it right. And fucking don't go to bed till the sun comes up on November 1st. Because fucking Halloween is until you go to sleep. Don't let Halloween die, motherfucker. Don't let it die. Don't let it die.